Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms. I'm going to condense each expression to a single logarithm. So, if I was given this 20 log base 6 of u plus 5 log base 6 of v. So, 20 log base 6 of u plus 5 log base 6 of v. Well, from there, when I want to condense this, all right, I'm looking at in front of each one of these log base sixes, right, we have a number. That number can be, can be exponent of the variable inside the logarithm, right there and there. So, when I rewrite this, I can write it as log base six of u to the 20th power, okay, plus five, oops, <laughs> that's what I'm bringing up top, plus log base 6 of v to the 5th power. Okay, so we're going to bring that 5 to the power on top of the v, and 20 to the power, um, or u to the power of 20. All right, so then <coughs> we see they have the same base, log to the same base, so this addition we can combine to be multiplication. So when we write our final answer here, we have log base 6, it's one big log of u to the 20th power times v to the 5th. I'm going to put parentheses to show that I'm taking a log of both parts. But either way, that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given a log, uh, 20 log of 6, uh, log base 6 of u, plus 5 log base 6 of v. And we want to condense that. Well, there's a number in front of each one of the logs. I put that as the exponent of the variable that's inside of the log. So we have u to the 20th power here, and v to the 5th power there. From there, I see we have log base 6 right here for both of them. Okay, they're the same base, right, for both of them. So we can combine them, and that addition becomes multiplication when we combine it. So we can write this as one big logarithm, as log base 6 of parentheses u to the 20th times v to the 5th, and parentheses.